Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming. And welcome to another episode of Dreaming of Dreams, where I take a look at upcoming games and genres within the dream game itself, as we look forward to what might actually show up when the VR patch hits dreams. There's a lot of amazing creators out there, so it's really exciting to see what they bring to VR. If you're new to the series, check out the notes below. I will leave the link for my previous video where we went over VR shooters. Today's episode is going to focus on horror games, another awesome genre in VR. So enough preamble, let's get into it. First up is the Twilight Shift, and this is coming from Rurouni Dan. This was super polished. One of the common themes from a lot of these uh, games that you guys are going to see is a lot of them are kind of almost a, a Hitchcockian type of maze where you'll move into one room and then move out of that room into a room you were previously in and everything has changed. Has the feeling of this one big single camera move. Ah, yes, the obligatory bathroom stalls. You gotta have that. Even better if they're covered in crap. Yeah, he's creepy. Looks amazing, though. The lighting's pretty awesome, too. I'm so proud of you, Nectar. I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of you, Man, look at that lighting. Definitely going for kind of the psychological horror aspect and a little bit less gore or jump scares, but it's slick. The sound design is great, too. Next up is PT, and this is coming at us from Lewis 729. For those of you unfamiliar with the PT story, uh, it was actually a, an attempt to reboot the Silent Hill series by director Guillermo del Toro and uh, the actor Norman Reedus, as well as uh, Hideo Kojima. Um, and then uh, when Kojima had the falling out with Konami, uh, so did PT. But they released a demo that uh, was actually in the store for a while there, and uh, someone just recreated it here. Um, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And next up is A Haunted Mansion, and probably my favorite game on this list. It's just wonderfully detailed and fully realized as you uh, walk around a mansion. It's very much a get this key, open that door, but it's super imaginative and uh, just lots of variety and just it's so polished. If they could bring this to VR, it would be better than quite a few of the offerings that we've seen in the horror uh, genre on PSVR. Look at that. Just awesome. Great lighting. Attention to detail. Like Even look at the post there. So, I mean, we don't know if this is ever going to come to VR. Um, because we just don't know the limitations of what the old PS4 is going to be able to do. Um, but as we look at the uh, PS5 and then also just the magic that these creators can uh, come up with is uh, absolutely incredible. Watch this. Look at this. It's amazing. Boom, honey, I shrunk the kids, uh, the horror version. This is just a perfect example of some of the tricks and, 
and the overall just like quality and imagination of this game. Next up is Beyond the Nightmare, and this is by Porcupic56. This game gave me a lot of uh, home sweet home vibes. A game that I actually wasn't a huge fan of, but this feels a lot like it. Actually, it's more polished in a lot of ways. Basically another grab this key, open that door type of situation, but it but it kind of has that Outlast vibe. Um, as you'll see here soon, you get a, a hand camera. Really well done. walking into a dark room and then quickly flipping on the night vision is uh yeah puckers up your butthole a bit Uh, next up is The Outer Depths, and this is by Great Scott 2204 um, Definitely an alien isolation vibe here. Um, it's also a pretty good chunk of game. There's um, All the episodes are now bundled into one here. When I say alien isolation vibe, yes, it's, you know, it's sci-fi, um, but it's also um, one of the key components of the game is that you're basically... You can be stalked by creatures that you'll see in the game. Yep, there you go. There's one of them. They could use some work, <laughs> but the uh, the environments are slick. Really, really good. well done. It also avoids most of that whole dreams look where everything can come off um, as like a painted brush stroke. Uh, well, you can see it there, though. Anyways, otherwise, awesome. <laughs> Like I've said before, that the whole look that dreams can have, it doesn't have to look like that. It's just people don't have either the time or the skill because uh, it requires very, very detailed textures um, at a very zoomed in level and then pulling out and using those assets in the world. A lot of work. I would say this game's kind of in between some of the super high-end designs and, uh, you know, stuff that I'd make. There's that alien isolation vibe I was talking about. So just like Alien Isolation, there are weapons um, later in the game. But the game is very much about being under-equipped and hiding and running for your life. I haven't even gotten to the weapons yet. I just... I suck. Man, that looks so slick.
And yes, there's some puzzle solving in this game as well, too. So next up is the Mouth of Madness, and this is by Reckley Snipes. Kind of an escape room vibe, but just really nicely done. Really polished, detailed rooms, great textures on everything. And uh, yeah, it's got a bit of an exorcist thing going on if, uh, if you're wondering kind of, you know, horror vibe it's going for. It's one of those games that uh, I could see this definitely coming to VR because it's a smaller space. And uh, it would just be a really cool experience to just throw friends in, you know. I'm thinking like the kitchen type thing. See? Bathroom's covered with poop. Yeah, you gotta Febreze that shit. Next up is called Trace of Time, and this is by Phase PS. Not much of a horror vibe, but I think that's still what it's going for. It's gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. It's got kind of that, kind of an Asian film vibe to it. I don't think it's, it's not really a complete game yet, but just uh, the level of quality that you'll see here. It's, you know, it's got a narrative that's going through, but it's just uh, got really cool atmosphere, and the uh, use of lighting is fantastic. Third person camera could use some work, but this would also be cool just to put this into first person, especially for VR. All right, next up is the Joy of Creation Dreams Edition, and this is by Kamenium13 and Warzed East Park. East Pack. Okay. Anyways, this is Five Nights at Freddy's, basically. It absolutely could have been one of the pieces of content on the uh, VR set that we got. Basically has you just trying to get out of a labyrinth type of uh, set. Find a key, open a door, and uh, stay away from your villain of choice. What's cool is the depending on the villain you choose, you get uh, different layouts, and uh, your character has slightly different abilities. Like, you know, can he have the flashlight on when he runs? I'm not really a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan, but the whole getting stalked in the game is <laughs> a little disconcerting for me. And if that game did not tickle your taint hair, next up is Childhood Horror, and that's by Little Dreams SX. Very much like the Joy of Creation we just saw, except now they threw in some of your childhood favorites. Like Shrek, Spongebob, and Goofy. So, for some that might be just even more terrifying. But just totally made for VR.
recorded that and it got me. Next up is Trauma, and this is by Nautical Squatch. This is kind of another escape room style game, but with kind of the uh, the whole time loop thing. So you you kind of like enter and exit and enter and exit a similar area, but you find new things and new things happen to that room and then you kind of enter and exit again. So that's kind of the game loop. Super polished. Um, a little on the boring side, but really I just want you guys to see what this stuff looks like. Like I said, guys, there's there's absolutely no guarantee that this is going to like be in VR. It's going to be up to the developers to mod their own games. And we just don't know what the capabilities are going to be of the engine with the uh, PlayStation. But all these assets, at least most of the assets in these games, are kind of like open source in a lot of cases. So you, people can go in there and grab what other people have created like pieces and put it into their own games. This is awesome. Yeah. The use of lighting is just awesome. I'm waiting for it. Clap on. Okay, next up is she, and this is coming to us by Nevo Dreams. Again, another kind of uh, escape room type thing where as you enter and exit a few rooms, things change, and that's kind of the narrative, kind of a light puzzle. Um, you know, not a lot here, but again, just really well done, great atmosphere, great lighting, and uh, just, just cool. Okay, guys, how cool would that be in VR? You might leave a little butt gravy in your underpants, but very cool. Okay, so next up is Project Hill uh, Redo, and this is coming by ACD Ramen. Ooh, that's got a bit of an ashen look to the uh, art style. Um, again, really nice looking game again. Definitely got that Silent Hills vibe, Resident Evil. Follow the recordings. Follow the notes. And the bathroom again. Gotta have it. See? Now there's blood. Blood and shit. Even better. And finally, our next game is Silent Hill Damnation, and this is by Rock91. There's not really much of a game here that I could find. Um, it feels like very much a proof of concept, but um, as you guys can see, this has totally got that old school uh, Resident Evil vibe to it, with kind of the fixed camera views uh, that that change as you kind of walk through the scenery. It's got tank controls just like the old games did. The atmosphere is awesome.
Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Dreaming of Dreams VR. Keep an eye on the channel. We have upcoming game reviews and, of course, more episodes of Dreaming of Dreams VR. Of course, more game reviews. There's also going to be some changes to the channel coming up to take it kind of to the next level for all of you guys. So keep an eye out for that as well. So that's it for me, guys. Have a good day, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.